Hey everyone, you just finished number talk and that means it is time for mini lesson. So we were talking about fractions and parts of the whole in number talk and we're going to continue talking about fractions in our mini lesson today. And today is going to be all about how mathematicians can create pictures of important fractions of improper fractions and mixed numbers. So we're going to look at some fractions together. We're going to look at some mixed numbers together and we're going to create pictures of those. So kind of like we've been talking about, mixed numbers are when there's a whole number with extra pieces represented as a fraction. An improper fraction is when the numerator is larger than the denominator. So there's more pieces um, than there is um, the amount in one whole. So we're going to look at some mixed numbers and improper fractions to create pictures that look similar to these. So we're going to look at this improper fraction first. And as you ha go through this video, you're going to either want to open up Braining Camp and have a split screen going on so you can see the video and work with me and Braining Camp at the same time, or you're going to want to get out your fraction pieces that you have in your take home math toolkit, or you're going to want to just grab good old fashioned pencil and paper. So all three of those options are fine, but you need to choose one now because you'll be working with me today. All right, now that you've got those things, we're going to make pictures of the different improper fractions and mixed numbers we see. So today we have 15 fourths first. And if I wanna make a picture of this, I know that one whole, there should be four pieces because the denominator tells us how many pieces are in one whole. But I need 15 pieces. So as I drag these pieces over, there's four total pieces that are fitting inside of this hole. So there's four fourths, but I need 15 fourths, so I'm gonna to need to make another hole. And now as I drag over each of those pieces, I have eight fourths. I need 15, so I'm going to keep going. So there's eight fourths, here's nine. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, I need to get to 15, so I'm going to keep going. So I've got 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now I have 15 fourths represented. Now, if I wanted to make this a mixed number, I would look and see how many holes there are. There's one, two, three. So this is equal to three holes. And then how many ever extra pieces I have? One, two, three. Three pieces and four fit in one hole. So 15 fourths is equal to three and three fourths. So as you can see, it's important for us to be able to make pictures of improper fractions and mixed numbers. So then we can determine what that mixed number or improper fraction that it's equal to is. So the reason I had you get tiles, pencil or paper, or opening Braining Camp is because you're going to practice making pictures with me. After you make those pictures, you're going to determine what the improper fraction or mixed number is that's equivalent. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Here is another one for us to think about. We need to make a picture of two and four fifths. So go ahead and use whatever you've chosen, your toolkit that you brought home, your braining camp or pencil and paper. And we're gonna make two and four fifths. So I know for two holes, I'm going to need two of these whole pieces. And I'm gonna fill those with five pieces. So do that with me. We know there's five pieces in each hole because the denominator tells us how many pieces. So in braining camp, on paper or with your tools, let's make two holes with our fifth pieces. Now if you're drawing it on paper, you're going to take that hole and draw four lines to partition it into five equal pieces. Okay, so now we have two holes. As soon as I fill in the second hole, we'll have those two holes. And then we need to create four fifths. So I'm going to pull over another hole, but I'm not going to fill this one all the way full. I'm only going to put four pieces inside of it. One, 
two, three, four. So what I'm wondering now is how many total pieces you see. That is going to be your numerator. Your denominator is how many pieces are in one whole. And you're going to be able to make an improper fraction that is equal to two and four fifths. So enter in the numerator first, how many total pieces you see, and then put a slash like this and the amount of pieces in one whole. And that will be an improper fraction that's equivalent to two and four fifths. Once you do that, we'll check together. All right, if you entered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 as the numerator, or you might have entered it like this because you're using your keyboard, 14, and then a slash. Our denominator is how many pieces are in a whole? One, two, three, four, five. 14 fifths is correct. So you made a picture that helped you determine what the improper fraction was that's equivalent to the mixed number. Here's one more for us to practice, and this one's an improper fraction. So we're first going to bring over a whole piece. And to determine how many pieces are in one whole, we can look at that denominator. There's six pieces in one whole, so we're going to fill this with six pieces. There's two, three, four, five, and six. So you can use your tools, you can use branding camp, or you can use pencil and paper to create one whole, which is six sixths. But we need to get to 16 sixths. So you're going to need to create another whole that is partitioned into sixths. And that's going to take us to, you guessed it, 12 six because we now have 12 pieces that are sixth pieces represented inside these two holes. Now, is 12 six enough? No, we have to keep going until we get to 16 six. So we're gonna add another hole and that's going to have, there's 12 here, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now, we already know the improper fraction, how many total pieces, and then the denominator, how many pieces are in the whole. This time, we're determining the mixed number. And just as a quick reminder, the improper fraction looks like this with a numerator that's higher than the denominator. A mixed number lists the whole with the fraction of the extra pieces. So you are going to enter into play posit a whole number. So how many whole pieces do you see? Then you'll put a space, and then you'll put a fraction for what you see for the pieces that don't equal one whole. So remember to use that slash key to put in a fraction and enter in what you think the mixed number is that we have represented in this picture. All right, so let's check together. There is one whole, two holes. So we should have had two as the whole numbers we have represented we have these four extra pieces. So there's four extra pieces, that's the numerator. And then there's six that can fit into one whole. So it's four sixths. So the mixed number that's equal to this improper fraction is two and four sixths. That's all we're going to do in mini lesson today to practice improper fractions and mixed numbers while creating pictures. But you'll get more time to practice as we head into our rotation time. As we head into our rotation time, please remember to keep these behaviors in mind. It's important for us to manage our time wisely, respect our colleagues, bring our best, and work the whole time. So make sure you're doing those things even on an e-learning day at home. We are also at the very end of Math Workshop today going to have a reflection time, and I want you to be thinking about this as you work through um, your rotations today. How do you like representing fractions? We know there's lots of different ways that we can. Here's three different ways that I th thought about. One is with pictures, one is with number lines, and another is with tiles, but there's many other ways like paper strips or other ways that you can represent fractions. I want you to think about what your favorite way is, and we'll talk about that during reflection today. 
Have a great time in rotations. Click next at the bottom to move to the next part of your day.